External allergens, irritants, and bacteria activate what is known as thymic stromal lipoprotein, a type of cytokine, upon entrance into the epidermis. This is also called TSLP. TSLP stimulates dendritic cells to bind to naive Th0 cells and mature them into Th2 cells. These mature and activated Th2 cells release a variety of pro-inflammatory cytokines, including interleukin-4, 13, 31, and 5. Production and release of IL-4, IL-13, IL-31, and IL-5 results in further immune activation. IL-5 directly activates eosinophils, causing degranulation and release of eosinophilic granules. IL-4 and IL-13 activate B cells to produce IgE immunoglobulin. This IgE binds to receptors located on the surface of basophils and mast cells. IL-4 and IL-13 also travel to the cutaneous blood vessels and increase endothelial adhesion mo molecule activity allowing for more immune cells to hone to the active atopic dermatitis skin. IL-4 also provides a positive feedback loop to naive Th0 cells, causing more Th0 cells to differentiate into Th2 cells. IL-31 is thought to mediate pruritus in the epidermis. Cytokines released by Th2 cells, including IL-4 and IL-13, further perpetuate the skin barrier dysfunction by directly decreasing expression of skin barrier proteins and antimicrobial peptides. This helps to perpetuate this inflammatory cycle by allowing greater penetration of cutaneous allergens and bacteria to enter the epidermis.